Shakespeare's greatest love story, Romeo and Juliet, is being brought to life by the Royal New Zealand Ballet in the company's most epic production of 2017. And to tell us more about the show, please welcome to the cafe the two lead dancers, Joseph Skelton and Madeline Graham. Yes. Hi. Yes. Welcome. So firstly, let's start with you, Joseph. Our newly choreographed three-act ballet by Francesco Ventriglia, totally new production. Why is it so epic? Uh, many reasons. I'd say the set and costume are absolutely amazing. Yeah, and, and the dancers. The dancers. Yeah. Are amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, the yourself. music, the live orchestra yeah. as well adds a lot. Having live music this time. Wow, so that's really would great. do. Yeah, and Madeline, you know, just looking mm. at that clip before, a, an incredible-looking set, incredible-looking mm. costumes, mm -hmm. and on top of that, I guess, incredible choreography. Who choreographs this? Uh, Francesco Ventriglia. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so he was previous director of the company. Um, and I've always been curious about this. You know when you get a different choreographer, how does it change the story? Like, is there quite big changes into the dance? Um, into the dance, yeah, each choreographer has their own style and their own way of bringing the story to life. Um, but yeah, the... Put the little twist on it, don't exactly, they? Exactly, yeah, the story is still... You know, traditional. Still a story, we yeah. know what happens at the end. So <laughs> it's up, it's not a happy one. Um, what's also really fascinating too is that you mentioned the costumes being a big part of why this is so special. They've been designed by a uh, three-time Oscar winner, uh, James Atchison, isn't it? He worked on uh, Dangerous Liaisons, The Last Emperor. How do you design, uh, I mean, what are the costumes like to wear? Because surely if he's done films to <laughs> ballet, yeah. it's quite a different thing. You need to be able to move a lot more than actors mm -hmm. would. Yeah, really good. And as a guy, you know, you want a lot of upper body freedom to be able to lift the girls. Right. And all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. Because you don't want to lift and have perfectly, yeah. rip underneath. Work really well. Mm. And what about you, Madeline? Yeah, the dresses are beautiful. I have six different costumes and they're all so beautiful. When it comes to the actual story of Romeo and Juliet, does this ballet stay true to it or are there some little tweaks in it? I think very true. Yeah. He's tried to stick with it as much mm. as possible exactly. I mean, there's always going to be slight differences because you can't have every single scene mm. planted in it. but. No, That's because then why true. would you go along and see it again? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, the thing also about this ballet is that there's, it's quite a lot of emotion in it. How do you get mm. that emotion? Because you obviously have to work mm. your faces, mm. but then your whole bodies have to portray that emotion as well. Mm. Who wants to answer that yeah. one? Yeah. Um, I guess being artists, you know, it's quite natural for us to, you know, get, delve into the character and, you know, be that character for that moment, you know, I become yeah. Juliet and you become... Yeah, you've got to really yeah. work at it and yeah. to sort of make it come across. You know what I'd love to see? I reckon this would be great. You're at the supermarket doing your shopping <laughs> and you're in your sort of like face and also body mode, so you're like, oh, there's no yes. legs! <laughs> that would be great. We should try that. We try to keep it as natural as possible. Yeah. <laughs> and Madeline, what do you love about the ballet? I love that you can be transported to a different place and, you know, forget about everything for a couple of hours and, you know. And what about you, Joseph? What do you love about it? Um, I really love the music. I'd say it's a huge thing for me. All the classical, all the different scores you get to dance to, and especially this one. It's beautiful. It's really yeah. incredible music. How long have you both been dancing for? Since I was a little kid. Yeah. But professionally in the company, six and a half years. Mm -hmm. Wow, what yeah. a great career. I've been with the company for four and a half. Wow. So. And the tour that you've done, you've already been in Christchurch and Wellington. And tonight, I, mean, I can't believe you're here, but tonight is the big opening night in Auckland. Uh, how long does it run for, do you know? Until Sunday here in Auckland. OK, cool. Yeah. So limited time to see it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Limited time to see it. Cool. And uh, what happens when this tour ends? <laughs> Start working on the next production. The next one, yeah. Just roll straight into the next mm. one. Are you likely to take this one overseas? Who Potentially, knows? yeah. Who knows? Could wow. do. It's getting good reviews everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Yeah, thanks, Absolute guys. Pleasure. Thanks for the us. Royal New Zealand Ballet's production of Romeo and Juliet is currently on tour in Auckland and it's heading to another five regions. For details, you can go to <laughs> rnzb.org.nz.